Konami. Hey guys, what's up? It's Buffy Rocks back again with my newest and latest walkthrough. Silent Hill Homecoming. Hopefully this shit will be entertaining. If not, you know what? I don't care. Ugh. It's one of my one of my favorite games on the 360. It is not my favorite, nor does it compare to my favorite, but it's pretty damn fun in my opinion. And if you guys have any like complaints about the story, those of you who know the story, if you have any complaints about it, send me a PM. I'll I'll see what I can do because I personally don't think there's any issues with the story. That one character that everybody is friends with, that everybody likes, Pyramid Head, I think he should be in here. Personally. I won't explain that now why, because that would just ruin everything, but if you don't if you don't think he should be, then send me a PM. I'll yeah, whatever. I'll talk. I'll send you a message and explain why. But we're going to do this with brightness up, subtitles on, other stuff. For some reason, dialogue in this game is very, very quiet. So, yeah, it's really difficult to hear them speak. I love this intro as well. It's so sadistic and amazing. It's I love it. It reminds me of the movie Hostel. It seriously does remind me of Hostel. I think they got Hostel as an idea for this part because seriously, this is just ridiculous. Down the hole. Where am I? There's Josh. We'll get to talk to Josh in a couple minutes. After this cutscene's over. Because he's not leaving, he's gonna stay there. Where am I, man? You're in Silent Hill! Alex. In everybody's favorite hospital. You all know who it is, where it is, what hospital? Hospital here. from Silent Hill One, not Two. All right, and the game begins. Here's everybody's favorite enemy in the in the window. Alright, so the hospital section of the game is pretty damn short, in fact. The hospital does not take much time to get through. But it's really cool. I like it when it turns into the other world. It's really badass in the other world. I like the graphics in this game. I hate how the way it becomes the other world because that reminds me way too much of the movie. And I think they stole the idea from the movie. But it's still pretty damn badass with the graphics. And I love the shadow effect. Ultimately, I this is a really great game. It's not the best Silent Hill game. It's not as scary as some of them. But the story falls in line. The story screams Silent Hill. Although, I wish more of it had been in Silent Hill versus Shepherd's Glen, but you know, whatever. That's my Josh, opinion. Is that you? It is Josh. <laughs> we have to get the code to open the door. Let's go get that code. There's the first three digits right here the 624. We need the remaining three digits, so let's go grab those. Come on, examine. Never mind. If I recall correctly, there is only one door unlocked in this hallway. So we need to go for that door. But I'm going to check the doors just to be sure. Here it is. There's a baby crying. Where's the baby? 
and the baby stopped. Creepy. Yeah, that this brochure is only useful for people who haven't played in a while. I actually haven't played in a long time, so I'm gonna read it for my own use. I have not played this game in a while. I beat it through the first, played through it two times. Unfortunately, I didn't know about the different endings, or I didn't go for a different ending, so I, you know, might as well have only played it once. So, I haven't played in a while. I'm probably going to be really shitty when it comes to combat initially. Hopefully that'll be fixed or changed soon. Yeah, that door's still locked. Okay, we're going to end up going for the UFO ending in this walkthrough. And you may be, like, pissed off. Why the fuck are you going for the UFO ending? That's not a real ending. Yeah, well, I don't care. It's a real ending because it doesn't require any glitch, and you can get the UFO ending in your first try. So, you know, didn't require much. Holy shit! Yeah, I knew that was coming. There's a body. That body also reminds me of Hostel. That one girl from Hostel 2. Who gets, like, the scythe taken to her back. I don't remember her name. 624872 624872 Let's plug this in 624872 Voila Let's go get Josh Josh where are you going Damn it kid stop running You ungrateful children child Yeah I'm going to go for the 100% in this game, so I'm going to get all the serums, Josh, all the pictures, stop. all the child's drawings. And that is the first child's drawing in the game. Yay! That's a little gross. Looks like he got cut in half. By a big knife. By a great knife. Ooh. Possibly. And there's a save point right there, but no one ever uses the first save. I mean, right? Right? Let's just keep going. Josh isn't here. And he couldn't have escaped. But there's a knife there. It's a lot of blood. Holy shit. I forgot how much blood was on the knife. And here we are. The other world. It's here, and it's coming to get you. With a vengeance. Silent Hill is home to many, many different a a attractions. One of which is their wonderful supply of prostitutes. It's the greatest in the world. Only, only second to Kazakhstan. Holy shit, that was... Wow, I'm retarded. I didn't... Fuck! Okay, this is really starting to piss me off. I didn't have the knife equipped. Why did I not have the knife equipped? You're going down, bitch. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I just got my ass handed to me because I didn't have the knife equipped. Nice angle, huh? Yeah, the nurses in this game really don't... They're not. They don't really instill any fear like they did in pre previous games. Silent Hill One nurses are the best. Silent Hill Two nurses were breaching like prostitute. Silent Hill Three were even closer to prostitute. I never played Four or Origins, so I don't know what they look like in there. But in Homecoming, holy shit! I mean, it's like they got their costume from the nearest sex shop. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, it just doesn't instill any fear in me. That's kind of depressing for a Silent Hill game to not be scary. And this one really isn't scary. I wish it was more, truthfully. It's a little depressing, but eh, whatever. Quite a bit darker. Other Silent Hill games were not this dark. It's like almost impossible to see anything. Oh, and this note is a, re is a reference to Silent Hill 1 and 2.